I was over here admiring how the mangrove swamp kind of just cuts this village right in half when I found something really cool. We have a desert temple cut into the mountain. As you can see, the only thing is the left pillar. We can come in here and I already um, exploded down there, so we're going to ignore that part. But it is completely underneath the mountain. How cool is that? Hey everybody, welcome back. Chem Nerd here. We are in another episode of the Elemental Seed series. This time we are in aluminum. Aluminum, nice little metal. Pretty much use it for everything nowadays. Start Starting right off the bat, we have a plains biome right underneath me and now behind me. We have some jungle over there, but right now we have unlimited sand, a pillager outpost, and some badlands. I love badlands. I think they're really fun to build on, and this one is no exception. These spikes are pretty awesome. We can build in between them, on top of them, underneath them, in the ground, anything. So you can just come straight through this little canyon here with definitely some pretty cool wild west builds out here or even some futuristic builds, apocalyptic builds. I mean, this stuff is just perfect for that. Here we have a little bit more of a plateau, still like a tiered plateau situation with a massive hole in the ground. It doesn't appear to actually be that big of a cave until you go that way. It gets really deep really quick. And if you wanted a little more trees to work with, you can come right over here to this plains, uh, savanna, and forest, and then bring it right over to this beautiful badlands section we have plateaus on top we have a crater in the middle we've access to a cave we've access to the ocean what more could you want you could even come over here build on this plateau maybe this little island again we have another huge ravine opening up this badland probably a few mine shafts in there as well just like the other desert temple we have this one still kind of hidden but not really it's all open, but it's just next to the Badlands. It's actually partially in the Badlands biome. Very cool. Very exciting. I'm not sure why this seed likes to build them out where they are. If you want to build a second one, we're now at minus 838. 666. Yikes! Headed over just across the river from that temple, we have another massive opening. This time we have overhangs everywhere. We can go that way, we can go that way, we can go that way. Everything is just open and you can build, you can mine, you can get down to the, the diamond levels almost immediately. This whole sea just has beautiful little areas to build like this. It's going to be a small build on that island, but it's still an island build and it's surrounded by some very warm water. It's beautiful. Making a quick little change over here, we have some plains with no trees. Well, little trees. Then we have a very sparse jungle. All of a sudden, we have these massive cliffs that separate the sparse jungle from the mangrove swamp. More jungle. And then the main mangrove swamp. This thing is huge. You can see that my computer is struggling trying to render everything. Basically have unlimited swamp, a lot of mud, a lot of trees, a lot of roots, and you're right next to the jungle. The last little bit I'm going to show you today is this area right here. Again, we're back into the badlands. We have some spikes, but what's really exciting is we have this overhang. This overhang lets us go into the cave system underneath with mine shafts. We can do some protective builds in here as well. Obviously, you want to stay protected from the elements. On this side, we have a main cliff area with an open mine shaft right there, and we are really, really close to this desert. Now, this is all technically on an island, but out here, you could definitely do multiple beach style island builds. You know, maybe some tiki huts, or Hawaiian theme, you know, anything that's very tropical could definitely be built on this little archipelago. That's gonna do it today for us. So I would like to thank you all for watching and checking out the aluminum seed with me. The next one will be silicon, a very, very important element in the world because without it, we would not be playing Minecraft right now. Stay tuned. See ya.